There was an incident on the old Kent Road where someone says, I've got to a ho get to a hospital appointment. And the just stop oil protester says, I don't believe you. Would you defend that? I wouldn't defend that, no. We have a blue lights policy as an organisation, which means that if we see blue lights, we open up the flow no, of no, the No, no, no. This was someone who was a, a private person going to a hospital appointment and one of the Just Stop Oil protesters said, I do not believe you're going to a hospital appointment. So we're disrupting ordinary people's lives. I accept that and I accept that. Having to do that is a very, very... it was your mum who couldn't get to a hospital appointment grave and difficult thing to do. No, no, just be specific. If, it, if, if it was your mum, if it was your mum who couldn't get to a hospital appointment for something quite urgent because Just Stop Oil protesters were blocking the road, how would you feel? I, I personally would understand why those Just Stop Oil protesters even were blocking if it was, the road. Even if it was even meant if life it and was, death. Even if it was my mum. And that's because what we're talking about coming down the line, within my lifetime, by 2030, is billions of people living outside of livable temperatures. But then, but Have then you been we, reporting of course, that no, on no one, this no one is, no one is arguing. We've, we've, Did you see the t Tim, Tim Lenton? Uh, we, well, I'm, I'm not arguing last week. with the science or the threat posed. I'm arguing with the tactics which I believe are alienating people. And I quoted you those numbers in the opinion poll, which seem to suggest that only 16 percent of the British public have either a very favourable or somewhat favourable view of what you do. The rest either don't know or are very unfavourable. I think it's key that people have to pick a side. Lewis, what do you think? Do you think we need to end new oil and well, gas? No, what I'd say, uh, Leo, is, is this. Do you understand that when you say... And, and, and in a way, I, I admire your, your principle and your the consistency of your belief. It, it's very admirable. When you say that, to answer John's question, you wouldn't... Uh, you would understand, even if your mother was afflicted or affected by someone stop, uh, blocking the road. Do you understand, though, that for many people they will find that incomprehensible? That, that that does make you sound, if anything, rather frenzied because it's just so completely alien to the way most people would think. Most people would think, God, if my mum were, you know, potentially being put in mortal danger by someone's political action, that they would abhor it. Mm. It's a moral choice that we all have to make, yeah? And we have to decide whether we're going to stand up against a Tory government which is pursuing new oil and gas in the middle of the climate crisis despite the warnings that this is going to kill billions of people or if we're going to sit by and just pretend that, you know, we have no power. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 